Welcome to my first rebuild series on YouTube. I've been doing a lot of rebuilds um, past couple years. I just never recorded them, uh, never documented anything. But uh, this FRS that I found, I definitely want to record everything, document everything. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I done. I bought a BRZ off of Copart before. Um, this is what it looked like. It was smashed really hard. I did, I did not think I was going to be able to fix it. But I brought it to some shops, um, some people that I know that are in the business, and they were able to fix it for me. And it was really, it was actually, it opened my eyes to what is possible because all the previous cars I bought, I did not think that they weren't anywhere as bad of a hit as that one was. When I found this FRS, I could instantly tell, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of cars on Copart, I could tell right away that this one does not have a lot of damage. I usually go look at the cars in person, but on this one, I didn't even have to. I could tell that this one is an insurance seller based on some markings on it. Um, very, There's a lot of good signs on this car. Uh, right off the bat, um, just right off the bat, I did buy this car already. I won it today. Uh, and I'm gonna go pay for it tomorrow and we're gonna start looking for parts and everything like that tomorrow so this car I won for only three thousand three hundred dollars now after fees it's probably gonna be like three thousand eight hundred and deliveries gonna... now what's ironic this car here's a lot number you could look at these pictures in person if you like um, I'll probably throw a link in the description you could find this car so we can see that this car was clearly sideswiped and the fender is not there. The door definitely needs replacing. There's no fix in this door. Um, hood is intact, doesn't seem to be touched at all. We see a little scratch here on we see a little scratch here on the bumper and a little crack looks like was what's indicated by the insurance company on the bottom of the bumper. Nothing to worry about there. Um, headlight is missing, but if we look over here, we can see it laying on the side. Now, what that tells me is the insurance company company took it out just to inspect it. Doesn't mean that it's destroyed. It's facing downwards, and from the impact, it doesn't seem like the headlight would be destroyed. So there is a possibility that that headlight is actually usable. Um. And next to the headlight, we see something else here. Um, we get a better better view of that later on. And then some other photos. So let's go ahead and look at these photos. Let's zoom in here. You see everything, everything around looks pretty good. Definitely what I see right away is new door, a little bit of quarter panel work right here, a little tiny pull and some body filler and paint right there gonna try to find a door that's the same color fender probably gonna get one from the dealer because they're really rare to find headlight it's probably gonna run like two hundred dollars and gonna repair this bumper cover this suspension i don't think is affected at all seems to be fine um this this picture right here it you could tell that the car is perfect from this side except this side marker right here is missing, which I mean, there's no explanation for that. It's just missing. Um, from the back also looks great. From this angle, at least looks great. Nothing to note here. From this side, everything, the whole rear end looks great. We see a little bit of that s scratch on the quarter panel that has to be fixed. But other than that, everything looks good. Here's the biggest thing I don't like about this car. The stereo. It's got to go. I'm gonna, definitely going to change that to a navigation. My favorite thing about this car, it's manual. Um, What else we got here? Oh, the really important picture. I was looking at this to see if the core support needed replacing or not. And everything looks straight. It just looks disassembled by the insurance company because they wanted to fix it. Um, what we got next here is a picture of the odometer. Pretty low miles for the year, 2013. 
And here we get another close-up of the, the damage itself. So nothing new here. Door definitely needs to be replaced. Needs a fender, a side marker, fender liner, and possibly a headlight. But we do see one here laying on the ground. It means that it wasn't hit as hard in the fender area. So I know what's behind the fender is intact. Because this fender just looks like it was just lightly touched. Other than that, there's no major damage there. The biggest damage was the door scrape. Um, 13, Toyota Scion FRS. It's a Massachusetts salvage title, 34,000 miles, run and drive, which is good. Uh, primary damage on the side, secondary damage that light front end scratch. Um, says the re estimated retail at 13,000. And that's about it for what we see on the pictures. And what I can what I can tell from these pictures. Now I did buy this car. Uh, today's Monday. It will play today. So, oh, I just missed it. So, I'm gonna go pay for it tomorrow. Copart gives a couple of days to pay for the car. I'll pay for it tomorrow. I'm gonna find all the parts, and I'll probably make a video on looking for the parts, negotiating with the the junkyards, how I find the parts things like that this will be a very in-depth tutorial I want these videos will be to inform you of how you can do this entire process on your own it will be very in-depth and I hope that you find them very useful and helpful and see how I go about buying these cars my next video I'll probably show some couple pictures of the BRZ that I had um, the damage that it had and like some mid process pictures but that one turned out very well and that was a huge hit so I'm very confident in this one. This one looks like it's pretty easy. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see more updates on this car.